Well, good morning. It is just after 10 o'clock on Friday, May 5th, and I am here at the Halliburton Highlands Water Trails at the Wren Lake Access. I am heading to do a one night trip on campsite 94 on Gun Lake. I've stayed there once before quite a few years ago uh, with Sean and Sue and um, had a great time. It's a beautiful area. I'm going to do the two small portages into Gun uh, from here today. And then tomorrow I'm going to paddle through the creek and come out uh, through Raven and uh, paddle around that way just to have some different scenery. Um, I've got some things going on personally and um, I don't know if I should or shouldn't be out. I want to be out. I need to be out. I have the urge to be out. Um, but I'm working through some uh, health stuff, so hopefully that all gets resolved soon. But uh, I didn't want to stay too long or stay two nights, uh, plus I have some other plans this weekend. So I'm going to get the canoe off the car and get my bags out and do all the things. Uh, I also like this access because there's a bathroom here, which is awesome. And uh, I'm going to use that before I get in my dry suit. So I'll be back in a bit. All right, I brought the boat down. Um, with it, I brought the uh, food bag. I didn't even, I didn't set it up for portaging or anything because it's just such a small uh, little portage to the access. Oh, it's so beautiful out now. Uh, the sun is a little bit more consistent than when I was driving here. And uh, it's just gorgeous. Barely any winds. It's supposed to be that way today and tomorrow. So I'm excited about that. The canoe here at the access. And a uh, beautiful rock here. I love this cliff. And I'm heading that way. All right, it's 10.30. Got the boat all packed up and I'm ready to launch. So off we go. Right, I'm on the water and I am slowly paddling away from the sounds of the traffic on uh, the highway that I just got off of to get to the access and it runs right alongside this waterway just for a little bit at the start and uh, and the sounds start to dissipate and nature takes over. Um, so I'm, uh, I'm not sure what this waterway is, if it's called Wren Creek um, or not. There's a small portage, I think it's like 100 meters, and then I'm on Raven, and then I just have to paddle a little stint through Raven just to cross it and take the 300-ish meter, I think it's 359 on the map or something, uh, so 300 meter into Gun, and that's the lake I'm staying on. So um, I uh, checked the reservations just before I left my house, Nobody is booked on gun tonight and nobody is booked on gun tomorrow. So I have the lake all to myself so far unless somebody comes along, which is awesome. Uh, or if somebody's just paddling through it. Uh, Raven has speedboats and cottages on it, um, but it shouldn't be super busy just because it's still uh, really early in the season. And uh, that's about it. <laughs> Alright, so while I'm paddling here, I'm just going to give a, a quick knee update. Um, I was having some issues. I had a colonoscopy in December. Um, I hadn't had one in a really long time, and I'm supposed to have one every five years because of my colitis. I think it had been almost ten. Uh, the prep killed me, and when they went in to do the colonoscopy, my surgeon told me that uh, my colon was crazy inflamed and I have to get on all these meds right away and I was like what are you talking about like I'm in the best colon health I've been in and everything's been great. Three months later retook a bunch of tests. Uh, first test said that 
Um, my, it's called a fecal protectant test. Not gonna get too much into it if you know what it is, if you don't, whatever. Um, was 1500. It's supposed to be around 50 for a normal person. Uh, so that was off the charts. So I took a bunch of medicine the last three months and uh, I was feeling fine otherwise, mostly. And um, a couple weeks ago I did the second test and now it's down to 250. So uh, really good. I have to keep taking them for another three months to do another test. But in the meantime, I have been freezing cold day and night for like a couple of months now. Um, when I went to the Gibson River, I was freezing and it wasn't even barely cold out. It was like zero degrees or two degrees. Um, so I went and had some blood work done yesterday to test for thyroid, hypothyroidism, I believe it is. And I have every single symptom. Um, so I think that is maybe what's been going on with me or part of what's going on with me. And um, yeah, I'm just waiting to see now and if it is then I can get on some medicine and whatever. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, I'll keep you guys posted, but I'm feeling okay. It just, I'm really tired all the time and I'm really cold. Um, those are the worst two things. There's some other stuff going on too, but whatever. Uh, anyways, I'm already at the dam here. I gotta find the portage to get in and uh, I'll see you in a bit. All right, easy peasy. <laughs> No issues there, just a hop, skip, and a jump, and I'm on the other side. Uh, I brought everything except for the food bag and the canoe. Uh, I brought the yoke over with the backpack because I don't need to like set it up for portaging for 100 meters. It's just by the time I do it, I could be over and done with. So just set it up for the next one, which is like 350 or something. So here's the dam that I'm going around. about nine degrees right now. It was supposed to get up to about 16 today, but now it only says 12 to 13. And uh, it's gonna go down to about, feels like minus one, minus two tonight. Nothing too crazy. All right, I'm already back at the boat. No time at all. And uh, it's okay, you just have to go through here, over that hill and you're at the other side. So. Here we go. All right, it's 11 o'clock. Done the portage. About to make my way through Raven to the next one. Uh, even though that portage was just over 100 meters, I am wiped. Uh, no, I'm out of shape, but this is my third trip already this season. Um, haven't done a crazy amount of portaging, but I've been working out at home. I've been doing stuff and I'm just Fine, I got shortness of breath and stuff like that, so I'm really gonna take it easy this trip um, because I don't know what's going on with myself health-wise and uh, I am taking some things just in case, vitamin B12 um, and some other stuff just in case uh, to kind of help with things, but I shouldn't be this winded from a 100 meter portage, <laughs> so it shows me something. Anyways, off we go. All right, the sun has graced us again with its presence. I think it's gonna be a partly sunny or partly cloudy day, but that's okay. It's quite beautiful out. And uh, I heard a little peeper sound when I was coming off the portage there. Um, last weekend when I was out, there were no peepers. Uh, we had this beautiful, beautiful hot weekend. I won't even say warm, it was like, 30 degrees on weather network. My thermometer said 40 in the sun. I was at McCray Lake for three days. It was gorgeous, gorgeous. I saw and heard all of the sounds, loons, peepers, uh, woodcock, owls, geese, you name it. I saw a snake, beavers, lots of beavers. And um, then last weekend there was nothing. It was like insane. I saw a couple of geese and a muskrat. And that was, oh, and some couple of buffalo heads. That was it. So um, I was hoping that I would be able to 
uh, hear some wildlife and see some wildlife again this trip um, because it is starting to warm up again. Uh, we had a bit of a cold spell in between there, so I'm assuming that's what happened, but I'm happy to hear that there were a couple of peepers peeping there when I was on the portage. All right, well, when I booked the campsite yesterday, um, I forgot to print off a map. And then last night, as I was gathering all my stuff and packing, I remembered that I have a brand new map from Lat Long of Halliburton Highlands Water Trails. So I folded it up accordingly, and uh, now I can see all the things. So that's really great. Um, yeah, so I just have to paddle a little ways. Uh, I didn't bring the measuring tool thingy, uh, but it says it's a 358 meter, to be very exact, uh, portage into gun. So not super crazy. It says it's a group campsite on the sign, and I can't quite see how many tents, but it doesn't look like there's much to it. And I'm heading this way. I love these uh, cliffs here. I've actually stayed on uh, one of the campsites on Raven, just down in there and uh, paddled past these cliffs quite a few times and explored them and they're just stunning. All right, it's 11.30 and I just passed Blueberry Island. <laughs> There's a little island um, that you can see on the map that's just kind of in front of the portage and it's not named on the map, but there's a little cottage there, and it says Blueberry Island, so I'm assuming that's the name. I'm just making my way towards the portage here, and uh, yeah, I think I remembered somewhat correctly. There's like a little cabin right in front, and um, there's one to the right. Well, that cottage that's there next to the portage looks like it's in progress, or being remodeled or worked on. I can see some Tyvek paper on the outside, so, and I can hear somebody hammering. Uh, so, just want to be quick about this, so I just grabbed the pack and uh, my water bottles, and I'm just gonna make my way through to the other side and then come back and grab the boat. All right, I've just been on the portage for a few minutes. Um, Technically 300 meter. Shouldn't take me more than I don't know, 10 minutes would be a 500 meter with a normal portage. So, and 250 would be five minutes. So, I'm calculating between five and 10 minutes, probably around seven ish. And so far, it's good. Just a couple of mucky spots here and there. To be expected at this time of year, especially with the, the water levels so high and the snow just melting not that long ago. Oh, here's the boardwalk, I remember. Vaguely. <laughs> and again, feeling very winded, so I'm just taking my time. I like boardwalks, they're fun. Whew, slippery though. My foot just slid. I hate that. We got a loon on the lake there. Maybe. Can't tell, it's a little too far away. Beautiful landing here. Okay, drop my bag and get out of here. I guess I'm not very good at telling time today. It's 11.45 and I uh, just checked my phone and when I started walking it was 11.37. So it actually took me like eight minutes, maybe seven. That's what I predicted, but it seemed a lot faster than that. Anyways, um, Going back to get the canoe. 
I'm feeling it. My shoulder's doing a lot better. It's still not healed, but I can put my arm up like this without wincing. There's just a couple of positions that it feels kind of off, um, but I'm still working on it. Cute little babbling brook here. Maybe it's way to Raven. And I am just at the end of the portage, or I guess the start of the portage, in the direction that I'm going. And it took me six minutes to walk back, so somewhere around six or seven minutes. No big deal. For a Jolly Rancher. just after 12 o'clock and I am back on the water. I am now on Gun Lake. I think I might go around the right side of the lake. There's a little bay on the right side and there's a campsite there. I think it's 71B. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I had called the office to ask about it. And then by the time they got back to me, I had already booked the campsite that I have. Um, but I'm curious to check it out because it's just all by itself in this little bay and uh, it's kind of my jam. Um, I think it might get sunrise and sunset. I'm not sure. Anyways, the wind is blowing me. I got to paddle. Bye. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen and everyone in between. Welcome to Gun Lake. in the bay is 71B. I'm not sure what I said at first, but I'm just looking at the map now and I see it. There's quite a few campsites on this lake. at the opening to that bay and uh, noticing more and more, especially with the sun uh, popping out, that there are a lot of bugs in the air. <laughs> uh, they are probably not bright enough to be biting yet, but uh, they are definitely flying about. Really pretty little bay here. This just gorgeous. Oh, hello, Dad. So All right, since I was here, I figured I'd pull up and take a look at the site. This is 71B. Uh, looks like the sun would come up over here and set around here at this time of year. There's a huge fire pit here, right on the point. It's kind of nice. I like that it's off on its own in this little bay all by itself. Um, but there's not much to the campsite from what I can see. Uh, I'll just have to set up the tent here or maybe under this tree. Uh, a bit wet, waterlogged. Shows that there's a privy somewhere up there. You've got to go rock climbing, I think, to get to it. Um, yeah, this will probably be, I guess, where people set up their tent, but it is on uh, a bit of a slant. And uh, I don't think I'm gonna go explore the trail to the privy. I can see the blue sign way back there. I'll probably 
see it. Hmm, it's kind of nice. This is a good spot for one person. I don't know if there's any tent pads or anything up top, but I'll probably put the tent right here. Sleep right there. It's the flattest, the flattest looking spot. Or even here, this isn't too bad either. I'm in my own little world here. Uh, if it was gonna rain or something like that, it'd be pretty tough to uh, tarp the fire pit. There aren't really any trees around. There's just the one there and the one there. Um, so you'd have to be pretty creative. And yeah, if it's bad weather, it wouldn't be so good. But there's a ton of firewood here. <laughs> oh, I'm just paddling out of the bay right now and I'm not gonna lie, I really like the, I don't know, just being tucked away in that little pocket and in my own little corner of the lake. But um, there's nobody else here, so I don't need to be tucked away in the corner, but it's kind of nice um, to have that option. All right, I just paddled past 71A. It didn't look that exciting. Uh, it would be good if it was a rainy weekend. There's a lot of shelter there. Um, this one right over here is 93A. Uh, again, it's okay. It would probably get sunset and sunrise, but there's not much to it and it wouldn't get afternoon sun. Now, 93, looks like it's on a bit of an island. It's not exactly, uh, according to the map, it's part of the, the land and it's connected, but I think because the water's high, maybe it's not. Um, this would get sunset and sunrise. So I'm gonna get out and take a peek. Well, just as I was pulling the boat up here, I believe these are pussy willows. I think so. They're really young, but they look like them. I haven't seen those in ages. Yeah, let's check out this campsite. So, there's a little path here. Oh. Lots of different uh, spots to sit and rocks and uh, points and there's a trail going this way, but I don't really see where it's going. I don't see a fire pit anywhere. It does say, oh, this is a group camp city. You can have up to 11 people on it. <laughs> I don't know where anything is here. I mean, the sign's right where the boat is, so you would think that the fire pit and all that is right there too, but, oh, here it is, it's hidden in the bushes. I don't like that. I do like that there's this nice little bay over here. I, you can see stuff. Oh, there's the fire pit. It's pretty sheltered. But I can't see anything while you're sitting here. You have to be able to look out onto the water and see things. It's very sheltered, so... Oh, and there's the privy right there. You know, you can kind of see the water over here a little bit from the fire pit area. Um, but not much else. I mean, I really like the layout of this campsite, but I don't like where the fire pit is. All right, I just docked my boat here. It wasn't actually too difficult to get in. Um, so sunset over here, uh, that's making sunrise in behind the campsite, which is what I remembered when we were here, I think, in, I know it was bug season, so I want to say June or July, um, but let's take a peek again. There's a, there's clouds, so who knows if there even will be a sunset. Uh, there's the fire pit. I like where it's situated. It's set here. And that's where the sun's supposed to go down. 
So that's a nice view of the water. Possibly some wildlife. And um, I think Sean had put his tent up here. Which is a nice flat spot right on the front. Um, what I want to see is if I can see the sunrise if I come out here. <laughs> Remember that that down tree being there. It's still there. Yeah, nice flat spot here for the tent. So it's gonna set over here. And you can see this little view of Brandy Falls. Just a little glimpse. And you can definitely hear it. <laughs> and there's a loom in the water right there. I don't know if you can see that, but I can. I'm gonna just uh, turn this off and check my compass and see where the sun's coming up. So sunrise is right about here. Um, there is this point that comes out at the front of the campsite. afternoon sun is what you're supposed to have and then set uh, over there but all the clouds are here so we won't really know about that all right it is 1 30 and I'm here at campsite 94 on Gun Lake <laughs> uh, I just brought the canoe up a little bit um, tied it to a tree there and brought up all my bags Got my chair and set it up so I can sit. And I got my lunch here. Got a beautiful, fresh Kaiser that I got from the bakery yesterday. It's like super, super soft and squishy. And then I have some chicken fingers I got from Foodland. They have like these big packages, so I made some for dinner. Just threw two extra in there and put some mayo on here. And I have a chicken finger sandwich. So I'm going to sit here and eat and enjoy my beautiful view and uh, I take the top half of this dry suit off. This neck thing is choking me. So I actually have a beautiful view of Brandy Falls right from here. Um, I can see almost the whole thing through this, just this little peephole. It's kind of nice. Anyway, I'm going to eat. I'll see you in a bit. The sun hasn't shone in like a while <laughs> and I was so excited to see it today and it's supposed to be sunny and beautiful and that's why I didn't stay home because I was like, oh, I can't stay home, it's gonna be so nice out and it's not really. It's still only nine degrees, the temperature hasn't even gone up at all. Um, there's still hope for the sun to come out but uh, doesn't look like it's going to be anytime soon and it, the clouds are getting a little thinner but you can see dark ones over there. I'm actually honestly shocked it's not raining. It's super damp out. Um, anyways, I have finished my sandwich. It was delicious. I had a fudge covered Oreo for a little dessert. some blue patches in the clouds. I don't know if they're gonna go over the sun. They're kind of going that way and the sun's over there. But hopefully some more will be breaking up. Look at that over there. It looks okay. I'm just walking around collecting some wood and a teeny tiny bit of sunshine coming through and it feels so nice. Oh such a difference. It's not even it's not even fully out and you can still just feel the warmth coming from it. I see some more cracks in the clouds too, so hopefully it breaks up and get some sunshine. 
I just gathered some uh, wood from the front. Just random sticks as I'm walking around the campsite. I'm gonna go in the back and get some. I saw a couple of uh, decent sized pieces. Not huge, but not like tiny, just like nice medium size that I like. Um, I'm just uh, walking around the campsite with my, um, I have an app, an audiobook app that I can use when I don't have a signal. And uh, I'm listening to Braiding Sweetgrass which is, I think, super fitting because it's May 5th today, which is Red Dress Day. All right, it's 20 to 4, and I got the dry suit back on. I figured I'd been walking around all this time with it on and not changing, and I have to go up for a paddle. Just want to go over and check out those waterfalls. Um, the wind has died down. It's a little bit of ripple here, but... It's actually a mirror over here, which is beautiful. And uh, yeah, I have no energy. I'm like, I want to go in my tent and go to sleep. I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> Anyways, I'm jump in the canoe here and uh, go for a little boot. sitting here thinking about paddling and I'm like I'm looking at the falls and I'm taking some videos and pictures and as I'm doing that I'm like planning out my route of how I'm gonna get through the water and I'm like yeah I could totally go through there and I'm like why eh. <laughs> I just wanted to come for a little paddle and see the falls I did that I'm gonna turn around it's too hard to go through here backwards will never guess what happened. <laughs> I was in my most vulnerable state possible. I was half undressed, taking the dry suit off, had all my dry clothes, my nice dry warm clothes laid out and it started raining. <laughs> I'm like half out of the dry suit so I had to keep going. It's raining. I've got my dry clothes. I'm trying to keep them dry. It didn't pour or anything, but it was lightly raining. And it was raining pretty decently. Um, anyways, I managed to change very quickly threw my dry suit underneath the tree over there, uh, put the rest of my stuff in the tent, came back and set up the tarp. And then I thought, oh, don't be silly. I knew it was going to rain. I freaking knew it. I could feel it. And the weather network's like, no, it's not going to rain. It's not going to rain. I'm like, no, 30 POP is a good chance. There's a good chance. I know it's only 30, but I mean, if you said it's a 30% chance you're going to win the lottery, might not mean that much, but 30% chance of rain, it's probably going to rain. Well, I got the tarp set up nicely. It's just the perfect size. I got myself, my chair, my little backpack, 
and the bear vault under here and then I have just a little corner of the fire um, covered so I can have a fire because if it continues to rain uh, or rains tonight like I'm not having it it's supposed to be um, zero or minus one something like that it feels like minus one overnight and um, I definitely want to have a fire I don't need to have one for dinner or anything but I want to have one so um, I'm all set up now now if it pours rain don't get me wrong if it pours rain I'm in trouble I gotta go in the tent but um, if it's just lightly gonna rain this will keep me dry and warm and comfortable and uh, I am that right now so I'm um, just gonna sit back and uh, see what happens might get the fire started I would still like to get a little bit more wood um, there's a big piece in the back uh, that I have to take the saw and cut off a bunch of pieces and I grabbed two pieces of driftwood when I was out in the boat um, and those have to be cut up but I have a lot of small stuff I could probably get the fire started but then at some point I'm gonna have to cut some wood so um, I might just sit here and listen to my audiobook for a bit and relax because um, I'm so tired I just I hate this I hate it but I'm so tired um, yeah so I'm just gonna sit here for a bit and see what happens Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. Also click the bell for notifications. If you'd like to get more information on the stuff I use on my trips, please check out my website at camperchristina.com. Thanks. Bye.